Okay, man, I can't see all of the people. I can't see everybody in the chat room right now, but I see a lot of people joining us. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I see Miss Akua. I see Artez in alphabetic order. I see Anthony. I appreciate you guys for joining us, man. This is our 369 Financial Transformation, where we're going to show you guys how to shift your mindset and shift your income at the same time. I, I'm excited. I don't know about you, but somebody put you on this webinar because they cared about your financial future, and that's what we do tonight. We're going to talk sales. No, we're going to talk strategy, not sales. You don't have to worry about something being shoved down your throat, persuaded, convinced, and begged, or anything like that. We're going to teach you guys some real wealth principles that people don't even teach you in schools. So we're going to crank this up in about 90 seconds or less. Let's give a few more people a chance to get in. As you guys join, if you're in the chat room anywhere, state your name and your city at this time. I see Brittany, Brian, Carlos, Charles, DeWanda, Deborah, Derek Jackson, Don Wilson. Man, you guys are in the building. I appreciate you so much for joining us. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with me. So we're going to rock and roll and make it happen tonight. Keep the roll call going for about 60 more seconds, and I'm going to crank up the webinar here shortly. All right, I see Torrance Williams, Lake Charles. I see, I'm sorry, Hepzibah. I see Jermaine Anderson from Maryland. I see Nikesha Baker from Griffin. What's up, Keisha? I see, I see Dallas, Texas. I see Rhonda. You guys look good, man. Too many people to recap, but I appreciate you guys for joining us. Remember, man, grab a pen and a piece of paper. I'm gonna change your lives financially tonight. If you go ahead and get a pen and paper and take some good notes, because someone cared enough about you to put you on this webinar, so my job is to make sure that it was all worthwhile, and I promise you it will be. All right, go ahead and keep the roll call going. Kevin Russell, welcome, man. Jose M., Lamar Jones, Lashima, what's up, Lashima? Linda, Malik Jackson, Ray Hope, Nick, all the way out in California, what's up? Ray, Raymond Gray, I mean, Gary, what's up? Tupelo, Ron Lee, too many names to remember, man. I appreciate it. So we're gonna go ahead and get rocking and rolling. The time is now. And, and I want you guys to understand, man, when we do webinars such as this, how many lives we can really affect all over the country. So if you wanna share this link, feel free to do so. If you, want, if you know people that wanna change their finances because they're sick and tired of being sick and tired, please feel free to let them know that this is the place to be because we, we have a financial tsunami that's about to sweep across the nation. And what that means is a lot of people are really not happy with their current situation or their future situation. And that's basically what we talk about. We talk about what are called two financial objectives. And these two objectives have to be met. Let me pull up the slides here. These two objectives have to be met two different ways. Most people watching this webinar right now understand that their current lifestyle is taken care of by their labor. And what that means is you go to work every day to, do, to put a roof over your head, to put clothes on your back, to put food in your stomach. And you understand that by going to work every day, you have to maintain the lifestyle that you set for yourself, whatever that is. Most people really don't meet the second objective. That second goal is simple. Your current lifestyle is supposed to pay for your future lifestyle. You see guys, one day you're not going to want to work. What that means is one day you're gonna walk into an office and they don't want you there anymore, or one day you're gonna stay at home because you don't wanna be there anymore. Well, here's the problem. If most of us are struggling and living paycheck to paycheck and we're going into work every day, what in the world makes us think that when we stop going to work, then your income is going to get bigger? See, that's a flaw. That's a flaw in capitalism. That's a fallacy that a lot of us were told that retirement is the golden years. And it's really not. How many people do you know that stayed on the same job 40 or 50 years and then retired? Now they're traveling the world. They got the yacht. They got the cars. They got the condo. They got the investments. Very few of us. Well, there's a reason for that. There are four things that actually keep you from hitting your two goals. Four. Now, once you understand the four things that are stopping you from making it financially, when you see them, you can recognize them, and then guess what? Now you can overcome them. It's real simple. The four things are inflation, number one, and let me just stop there. We call this one the silent income killer. What this means is the value of the dollar drops every single day because of inflation. You see, in this country, business owners control how much things cost. 
And as long as business owners control how much things cost, they can increase their prices whenever they feel like it. Here's the problem. Can you give yourself a pay raise whenever you feel like it? You see the difference? So if daycare is up and groceries are up and gas is up and healthcare is up and insurance, car insurance is up and mortgage rates are up, your money can't be the same as it was last year because everyone who owns those businesses, they're going up every single day on their price. But can you walk into your job and tell your boss, you know, groceries are more expensive. Can you give me an increase on the price of, to pay for my groceries? The answer is no. So once they put you in the straight jacket and tell you to leave at that point, you got to say to yourself, okay, what am I supposed to do? Let me, let me give you guys a great example. You remember you could take the same $20 bill, same color, same president, it's green, same rectangle piece of paper, and put $20 in your car 20 years ago. Now, $20 20 years ago would take my car all the way up to three quarters, if not full. Take the same 20, same shape, same president, same color, and go put $20 in your pump now. It may get you a quarter of a tank. What that means is the value of the dollar has dropped. You got the same dollar, but it's not going anywhere near as far. So if the dollar can drop every single day based on what a business owner decides, you got to put yourself in a position to win regardless of what business owners do. Nothing wrong with a job, but a job is just going to basically tell you, look, we, our job is not to help you keep up with inflation. So then what are you going to do? Now, the second challenge is taxes. See, we call inflation the silent income killer. We call taxes the chainsaw massacre, okay? Because taxes just reach into your paycheck and take it out. State tax, local tax, federal tax, avalorum tax, property taxes, sales taxes, you name it, in this country, it's taxed. So what happens is a third of your income is lost to taxes before you even see the money. Now, here's the question. How in the world are you going to have enough money to invest, which is objective number two, if a third of your money is coming off the top with challenge number two? It's a contradiction. So in other words, the government doesn't care that one day you need enough money to not work. They're reaching in and taking your money off the top. Your biggest expenses are your taxes. It's not your cell phone bill. It's not your internet bill. It's not eating out. It's your taxes. Now, here's a note for you guys. Number two causes number three. Taxes actually cause debt. See, see you have to understand first why you're, why you're even in the position that you're in. So if taxes actually cause debt, then the banks actually get you on the back side and the government got you on the front side. So you're squeezed in the middle between these two entities that get wealthy off of you. See, do you guys know this? Let me give you an example. Do you guys know that banks made $5 billion? Not, look, just three banks. Wells Fargo, Bank of America, and Chase made $5 billion last year, that's billion with a B, off insufficient fees. That means the banks got wealthy off the backs of people who already didn't have it. Let's be honest tonight, guys. We're talking about why people don't meet their two financial goals. When you got inflation eating your dollar every day by business owners, when you got taxes coming off the top to the tune of one third, when you got debt coming off the bottom that you have to pay back because of the taxes, and then we haven't even thrown in big business yet, and big business happens every single day as a result of companies throwing marketing, colors, music, sounds, you name it, they take billions of dollars of their budget to figure out what makes you tick. So they're throwing something at you every day. The iPhone 6, the 6.5, the 7, the Samsung, the Samsung with the goggles, the 3D Samsung, the flat screen TV, the curved TV. Before you know it, you're trying to participate in all these different techno te uh, technology technology advances, and next thing you know, you still don't have no money to invest and you're 15 years older. You see, what you guys gotta realize, there's nothing wrong with America, it's the best country in the world. But what America does not teach you is how to plan for that future, they, and they barely teach you how to make it in the current. As I go through this webinar, I want you guys to understand, I wanna be crystal clear. We are doing this webinar tonight so that you can open your eyes up to the two objectives and make sure you meet both of them. Not one, not half of one, not some of one, not all of one, and a little bit of the other. You got to meet both the objectives. You see, you got to decide right now that I want more for myself and my family and my children. And even if I don't have children, I want more for my unborn children and grandchildren. And you got to decide right now that 
something has to work, just not me. You see, there's nothing wrong with working, but at some point you need some investments to work for you. So what we do is simple. We teach strategy over sales. I want you guys to write that down. Most people focus on sales only, but the reality is everybody's not good in sales. And the minute you realize that everybody's not good in sales, you'll say to yourself, okay, I need something that the majority of the people can plug into, something everybody can afford, something that everybody can do, and something everyone can win in, and something everyone can succeed in, and everybody tries to make some extra money selling something, but very few of us make money strategizing. See, we've been taught that the only way to make money is to work for it. Wealthy people teach their children that you start making money by strategizing and compounding small amounts over time, and next thing you know, you're wealthy. I'm gonna show you guys a new slide tonight that will, you probably won't sleep after you see it, and I apologize in advance for your insomnia, but I'm telling you right now, once you understand how a small little bit amount of money compounds over time and create wealth for your entire family, you won't get any sleep anyway, so don't worry about it. So we teach strategy guys, not sales, not hype, but real things that people are really doing, and our millionaires in our organization have actually gone from zero to hero using strategies that you can plug into. So who am I, in case you guys don't know and we've never met before, I apologize. My name is Brian Bean. I'm the founder of an organization called Extra Digit. And what we do is real simple. We teach you how to grow your income by an extra digit, whether you choose to do it weekly, whether you choose to do it monthly, whether you choose to do it quarterly or annually, okay? Let me give you an example. Let's say, for example, you're making three figures every two weeks, right? Your check is right around $980 every two weeks or $500 every two weeks or whatever. What if that number was four based on strategies that we teach you, meaning four digits every two weeks? Let's say right now you're making four figures a month. What about five figures a month? Have you ever seen two digits in front of your comma per month on a consistent basis? What if you're making six figures a year? What about seven? Have you ever seen two commas in one year? on a consistent basis. So we grow our income by an extra digit, and here's why. I was working a job I couldn't stand. I can't give you guys the name of the company, but they call it the Bank of America. And here I was, counting other people's dollars, counting other people's money, being broke, busted and disgusted, negative and frustrated, because I was making three figures every two weeks. I started a home-based business, and I took my income up to four figures a week. So I went from three to four. I went from three figures every two weeks to four figures a week. Then I took that four figures a week and started earning five figures a month. Now you start making 10, 20, 30, $40,000 in 30 day increments and your job wasn't paying you that all year. Trust me, you start believing in extra digits, okay? So that of course is a six figure year and I've earned seven figures working right out of my house for the past 20 years. I was blessed and fortunate enough to retire when I was only 22 years old. Now that's the good news. Here's the not so good news. How about I lost my first million dollars in my 20s because I didn't understand the things I'm gonna show you guys tonight. Now luckily I was young, I made my mistakes early, and I was able to recover and I said to myself, that'll never happen again. So I got a hard head, so I had to make a million more than once. But to lose your first million dollars because no one taught you how to strategize, I'm telling you man, that hurts. That, that hurts, but I'm glad it happened. I got audited twice, Taxes hit me back, taxes, current taxes, future taxes, family issues, court, health issues, audits, you name it, it happened. So now I can look you in the eye and say, you know what, it doesn't matter what you're going through, focus on what you're going to. That's a good little tweetable moment for you. It doesn't matter what you're going through. We all go through stuff. Trust me, the man upstairs has a plan. You got to focus on what you're going to. So somebody put you on this webinar tonight to give you the first plan of action towards your new strategy. It's real simple. Now, I want you guys to write this down, 369. Okay, 369. Within three days, the person that put you on this webinar is gonna help you clean up your cash flow, within three days. Within six weeks, we're gonna show you how to scale your business income and start making money from home. And within nine months, man, you should be investing. That means before the end of this year, you should have an investment account open where money's starting to work for you instead of you working for money. So doesn't it feel good to know that within three days, we can help you take the cash flow that you're currently making and flip it around to a positive. Within six weeks, we're gonna show you guys tonight how to start earning residual income and weekly bonuses that can start as early as this week. 
but give it six weeks before you start gauging it. Let's get you promoted so you can start compounding those bonuses and making money on a consistent basis. And then within nine months, you take the money from strategy one and the money from strategy two, and you start investing and creating strategy number three. We call it our 369 financial transformation. Now, here's how this works. Everything we show you, you would think would cost an arm and a leg. $6.99, $8.99, $5.99, no, our education is $34.95 a month. Now, let me just sit down because I know you don't believe me, okay? $34.95. Now, don't be like a lot of my friends. Brian, that's another expense. Things are already tight for me. I'm like, you don't get it. If $34.95 is tight for you and you've been working longer than five years, that means you're unable to save $1.17 a day. I'm not making light of it. What I'm telling you is, if you don't have $1.17 a day to learn from multimillionaires who are making more money in a month than some people make all year, if you don't have $1.17 a day, $34.95 a month to save five to six to $700 in tax savings, if you don't have $34.95 a month to earn residual income so you can pay off your residual debt, if you don't have $34.95 a month to teach your children the things that we didn't learn in schools, then you need to really take a serious look at what you view as an expense versus what you view as an investment. You see, an expense is something that goes out and never comes back. An investment is something where money goes out and brings back more friends. So if I show you right now in a second how to save five to $700 a month just in taxes with your $34.95, how often would you trade $34.95 <laughs> for $700 and 10 cents or $300 and eight cents. I would trade all day long. That's what a home-based business does for you. We're going to give, give you guys the strategies, the software, the system, and the success necessary for you to improve your income. Let me say that again. You got to learn the strategies. We're going to show you the software to implement the strategies. We're going to give you the systems and the support to keep going, the ongoing support to watch your dreams come true, and that all leads to your financial success. Here's how it looks. Our financial membership for $34.95 includes not just a business, it's the most inexpensive business in the world, but it includes a financial membership that does the following. What about legal insurance? Huge discounts if you ever wanna to talk to an attorney about a trust fund. If you ever want to talk to an attorney, I don't care about a speeding ticket. If you ever want to talk to an attorney about a patent or whatever it is you're trying to do, the $34.95 gives you access to a Legal Club of America membership in addition to the business I'm about to show you. The $34.95 a month gives you access to identity theft prevention and identity theft protection. Prevention means we have something called key logging that we put on your computer because most people get your information from your username and password and credit card, so we protect your computer. Protection means it's up to a million dollars in insurance that we help you with monetarily if someone does rob you of some of your money and you get caught up with your ID and your social and you need to untangle it, don't worry. The membership includes identity theft protection up to a million dollars. Guys, I'm telling you from personal experience, the bank called me, what, yesterday or day before, Someone tried to get $4,500 out of my account. I got the check right over here, fraudulent check for $4,500. Actually got my signature from somewhere else, put it on a fake check, and tried to get me from a paper. Okay, identity theft is real. Okay, $4,500 could have been missing. So this thing is running rampant where people try to steal your identity, get into your accounts, and now you got this included in your membership. Very, very powerful. Tax preparation and audit assistance. How cool is that, right? I wish they had this back when I was in my 20s. Somebody audits you, you got somebody to help you. So now you got people that are professionals giving you discounts on how to do your paperwork so your strategy stays with you. So you got the business included, the software I'm about to show you included, identity theft protection, identity theft prevention, tax and audit assistance. We even have a service that's called D, that's done for you credit repair that you get a huge discount if you want to help increase your credit score all of this for $34.95 a month and I haven't, I haven't even shown you guys the business model yet so I want you to understand 
everything starts with strategy one. And strategy one is increasing your cash flow. See, there's a big difference between income and cash flow. People try to fix their financial situation, they think they have an income problem. You don't have an income problem necessarily. First, you need to look at your cash flow. Here's a good note for you guys. Income is measured in dollars. Your cash flow is measured in time. So what we do is we look at your taxes, your debt, and your expenses, and we snowball those three to create extra income streams for you. Let me show you what I mean on the computer. All right, so the first place we look is we look at how, many, how much of your money is going out in taxes. The government has stated that most people overpay taxes. I'll show you a slide in a second that actually proves that. It's called a tax refund, okay? So most people overpay their taxes. How do we know? Because you get a tax refund. Re means again, fund means money. So a tax refund is your money again. So if you had your money up front during the year, then you could use that money to pay your debts off much faster. So on this slide, for example, we would take the $450.31, and then we would take the debt of a car note, for example, instead of giving the car $330, we give them the $330 plus your new $450. Go ahead and give them about $750, and now the car note is gone in 13 months instead of 60. You see? Now you take the new money from the car being gone and the debt from the, um, the car being gone and the tax dollars, and now you might look at your student loan. So instead of sending them $230, you send them the new $900 plus the $230, send them $1,100 of student loan is gone in two years instead of 20. You see, I'm, I'm giving you guys an example of how you take the initial tax dollars and put the tax dollars to work for you. Why? Well, the government got you in trouble, so shouldn't they get you out? So now we got the tax dollars back. That's positive cash flow. We got the debt going down. That's more positive cash flow. We got your expenses going down. That's more positive cash flow. Late fees are gone. Overdraft fees are gone. You're looking at now what you can, what's coming out of your checking account that doesn't need to, right? On a monthly basis, those things are now gone. And now you got business income coming in. So you've created four income streams. Three came back to you and a new one was created by showing people how to create the other three. I won't get into it tonight, but this is called strategic alignment. You've taken one stream of income and created three more with it. Now we take the business income that I'm gonna show you in a second and we learn to invest. So we invest the tax dollars, we invest the debt, we invest the expense money that you had, we invest the business income, and now you got an asset growing from five income streams, not just one strategy how do we do it so let's look at what the government said first okay i'm gonna look down and read this document to you it says where this is back 10 years ago from the irs i didn't make this up they put this on their website where does your refund come from it comes from your wallet or purse when you tell your employer how much to hold from you withhold from your paycheck or you make an estimated tax payment now brian what did you say Yes, your refund comes from your wallet or your purse. For the average refund, that's about $40 a week too much. Now, let me get this straight. You pay $34.95 a month, and we show you how to get at least $40 a week back just in taxes. That's, and that's minimum. Some of you guys are going to get thousands back with you and your husband or you and your wife. But watch this. You might be using the extra withholdings as a forced savings, but Uncle Sam does not pay interest on refunds except in special circumstances. Putting the money in any type of savings account or paying down debts might be a better option. This is off the IRS website over 10 years ago. They told you that you're overpaying your taxes. You might want to use that money to pay off your debt instead of using it, using it as a forced savings savings method also known as a tax refund the irs told you this not brian bean i'm just reading off the document they gave us that sent our company on a whirlwind ever since they validated what we teach so all i'm saying guys is let me ask you this is your money why aren't you getting it up front why are you letting the government borrow the money all year then give you pennies on a dollar next year it doesn't make mathematical sense and then you struggle all year long to get a refund next year that you got to use it to get out of debt. 
So you get a refund every year that's gotten you nowhere and the government made millions off the interest from everybody's tax return. It doesn't make sense. You gotta start thinking like a, a business person. So here's what we do. The reason you're allowed to get the money up front is, is because you now have a home-based business. See, the 3495 allows you to open up this home-based business with us. No overhead, you already have your house. You already have your internet. You already have your cell phone. You already have the square footage and everything that we teach you that you can use and deduct percentages of it for your new home-based business. It's just like if you were a piano, uh, you went around showing kids how to play piano, right? That's a home-based business. You are a Spanish tutor or an English tutor or a math tutor. That's a home-based business. See, people miss this. We educate people on how to improve their finances. So the government says, cool, you get paid on a 1099? Well, now we get to let you lower your taxes during the year and pay us when you're finished. You see, this country is run by tax codes. W-2 says take the taxes off the top. 1099 says take my taxes off the bottom. You want, a ta you want the taxes to come off the bottom once you finish paying what you have to pay. W-2 say take my taxes off the top and then I'll spend what I need to spend. It's just a difference in tax codes. So here's the question. Why doesn't everybody have a 1099? Easy. They don't know. So for $34.95, we give you a 1099 and the education on how to make it worth millions of dollars. Okay? So let's give you a quick example on the slide, and I'm going to show you something powerful. Before your home-based business, you made $50,000 a year. The government took $18,000. So you took home $32,000. And then you got to pay your bills, so you only left with $14,000. And this is hypothetical. Most people are left with nothing after the government takes their money and then they pay their mortgage and then you left with nothing throughout the year. But I was conservative and gave everybody $14,000 a year left before you owned a home-based business. Now this slide says, okay, Brian, how is it the 1099s are taxed less? Well, the tax, the net effect of your taxes drops to 18 to 23%. Here's why. You're going to take a percentage of your square footage. You're gonna take a percentage of your utilities, a percentage of your cell phone bill, a percentage of your meals, a percentage of your gas, a percentage of your entertainment, a percentage of everything that you're already doing. And you're gonna lower your income and bring this money back into your house. So now look at what happens. You make the same 50,000 on your job, but because you have a 1099, you get to pay the bills that count towards your business, which are usually the same ones that count towards your household. So you take a percentage of them, 18,000. Now you take home 32,000 and they tax the 32 instead of the 50. Now, if you understand what I just said, the business was allowed legally, ethically, and morally to come out, the expenses come out first, so you're taxed on less. That's how billionaires get rich. They don't, they don't get rich by getting tax refunds. Millionaires don't make millions of dollars by waiting on a refund check. So I'm not, disrespecting your refund check, I'm trying to re-educate you. So that's about $225 a week extra, $900 a month extra, $11,000 a year extra. This is what we call giving yourself a pay raise. Now put on your seatbelts. I'm about to show you what showing other people this membership can do for you. It's gonna mess you up, okay? So you have the app in place to keep these records because when you start showing people the membership and you start getting checks every single week, the government wants to know that this is a real business and not a hobby. The only way to show them that is by keeping excellent records. So your second strategy, the home-based business, is validated with receipts. You see, you got a lot of people out there that have illegal businesses and just shell companies and stuff like that. The only way to separate the two is to keep up with good records. So. I'm sorry, give me one second. All right, so we download on your phone something called the cash flow manager. Here's how it looks. You have the cash flow manager, you got the cash flow strategist, you got financial calculators, you got a lot of different ways that you can keep up with your records. But all you do is you take your phone out and it asks you what the date was that you ate, 
How much did you spend? Who was it with? Where were you? In other words, your basic what, when, why, and how questions. You then take a picture of your receipt. It uploads into our cloud. Your taxes are now done. And that picture and the information goes to a spreadsheet. Now your CPA loves you because you've been keeping up three or four minutes a day with your cash flow manager. All you guys that are current associates, make sure you download your cash flow manager because that's what it takes to lower your taxes. Now, you're also going to have income that comes in. Oh, by the way, the $34.95 a month is tax deductible. So it's a win-win situation. It pays for itself. So you went to Red Lobster. You spent $35.17. You had a meeting. You uh, were in Chicago or whatever. This was in July. You also had your $34.95 for your membership drafted from your debit card. So that's also tax deductible. Oh, by the way, this week, your check was $1,800.53. Now watch what happens. We take the expenses on one side, we take the income on the other, and it all goes to your balance sheet automatically. Here's how it looks. So there's your meals and entertainment, $37.95. I mean, $35.17. There's your fee for your own business, tax deductible, $34.95. There's your check for $1,853. Now, this is the money that came in. $70 went out, but it went out on expenses that you had anyway, like gas and food. Two things that you already doing. Now, how cool is this? So now you print this out or save it to a zip drive, send this to your CPA, your taxes are done. Now, let's show you guys the power of showing this to other people. We earn $25 through infinity for everybody who joins your business and gets this membership. There's a position called executive vice president. It starts once you get two people, okay? Everybody type in the chat room or wherever you are on Facebook or in Zoom or whatever, type two people equals EVP. Two people equals EVP. Because the, the residual slide I'm about to show you is contingent upon you helping two people get their membership. Your life will never be the same. So once you hit EVP, you now earn $25 for every membership in what's called your base shop. And the base shop goes through infinity. The person that puts you on this webinar will explain that. But here's the key. I want you to see what the 25s do over time. And then I want you to see what your residual income check is doing over time and how much money you're making weekly and how much money you're making monthly. Please put on your seatbelt because when you understand this and you understand the things I'm going to teach you guys on how to make money, it's, your future is so bright you need shades, I promise you. Watch this. Now, we're going to assume we're going to make everybody EVP. This slide indicates that you're an executive vice president. You sponsored two people who said, man, $34.95 is a joke. Two people who said, I'm in. Two people who said, I need to learn about finances. Two people who said, I want to get out of debt. They're in. Now, the base shop, it, this example is one of your legs. Not 10, not five, not two of your people not three of your people, this is one leg of one person you introduced. Watch this. One who gets 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 one. And you just gotta see it. One person gets one, you have two. Two people get one, you have four. Four people get one, you have eight. Eight people get one, you have 16. Everybody's getting one. This is after you hit EVP. Everybody's getting one. You earn $25 through infinity as long as this happens. Now, this column is only one of your legs. You've earned $208,000 in $25 bonuses if everybody just gets one and this duplicates 12 to 13 times. You earn $280,000 because you get 25 for everybody who gets one. That's the power of exponential growth. So when 64 people get one, you just had 128 people times 25. Each gets one who gets one who gets one who gets one who gets one. Now, I want you to see what's happening residually. 
our residual bonuses are paid out every single month off the membership, which is $34.95. You earn either $3, $5, or $8 per head on a monthly basis for every membership. So the first position in the company is called gold. Gold is 30 memberships in your team. Not from you, but from everybody who told somebody who told somebody who told somebody. Platinum is 200 memberships. And Infinity is 800 memberships. Now let's do the same example with $3 at gold, $5 at platinum, and $8 through Infinity. Everybody type in the chat room somewhere or the comments, Infinity and beyond. <laughs> Okay, because I got to stress this. I don't think people get this. The example I'm giving you is one leg. One. You can, you can, I brought in 12 memberships yesterday. Okay, so if just one leg gets one, who gets one, who gets one, who gets one on the same example, let's just go down to level six. You're at $96 a month. Okay, because you got, six, you got uh, 32 people, you're a gold member, and you get $3 per person. No big deal, nothing to write home about. But guess what? Those 32 people didn't get in business for you. They got in business for themselves. So let's look at what happens. Let's jump down to level nine, which is after level six, and you hit platinum because you have 100, I'm sorry, over 250 people. Platinum is only 200. Your residual check is now $1,280. And all you did was duplicate the one to get one to get one nine times. Then you hit infinity. $8 per person. The investment is only $34.95 in just one of your legs. At infinity, you've hit infinity by now on level 11. You actually hit before level 11, but you have $8,192 coming in if one who gets one who gets one who gets one who gets one happens 11 times. And when I tell you if there's no one on the planet that can teach you how to get everybody to EVP, it's me. It is so simple. It, I'm not even gonna sleep tonight, how simple this is. So you have to understand that the example I'm giving you on this slide it's just one of your legs and you can introduce as many memberships as you want. So how many times do you want the $61,000 a month to duplicate? On just level 13 alone, you're earning $32,768 a month because you get $8 per person and you have over 4,000 people on level 13. Why? People are getting out of debt. They're excited. People are lowering their taxes. They're staying. People are lowering their expenses. They see cash flow coming in. People are earning bonuses, $25 through infinity on everybody, somebody else's tail. And then everybody earns three, five to $8 per person per month. And when you pass 200, you hit platinum. When you pass 800, you hit infinity. And you can do that over again as many times as you want. This is one leg duplicating. I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what to tell you. So I can't wait to see all my peers and my colleagues holding up their residual checks like we do the bonus checks. You wait until you hold up the residual checks that you've earned. Because here's the thing before we go. Everybody has residual bills, but why don't we pay them with residual checks? Think about that. Whether I leave my house or not, the water bill is coming. The cable bill is coming. The power bill is coming. The gas bill is coming. They don't really care about your usage. You got a flat rate coming anyway. Now your usage goes ups and down, up and down with winters and summers and all that. I get that. But either way, you're paying residual bills with a linear check. Why don't we pay residual bills with residual checks? Then that just makes sense. I don't know. I'm not the smartest person in the world, but that's pretty simple to understand. So I want you guys to understand before we go. At this stage in the game, either you're in or you're out. Don't develop a headache, hypertension, stress, stroke, heart attack. Oh my goodness, I got to talk to my wife about 
cents and 95 cents. Oh, my husband, we've done this before. No, you haven't done financial education. You haven't seen how people respond to economic empowerment. You may have done soap, lotion, shampoo, weight loss, conditioner, products. You have not seen what adults do when you talk to them about improving their legacy for their children and tell them that it's $34.95 a month and they earn $25 through infinity on everybody who signs up in what's called your base shop and you earn three, five, or eight dollars a month on every membership in your team, you haven't seen people respond to such a low fee and such important information. So let us know, it's real simple. You're either in and you wanna learn the strategies and you don't wanna tell people and get the residual checks and that's fine, but you wanna lower your taxes, lower your debt and create positive cash flow, or you want the membership to actually show other people so you can get these bonus checks and scale these residual checks every single week and every single month so you can have more to invest. Just let us know what the game plan is for you. Right now, we just want you to go ahead and text the person that put you on this webinar and say, look, $34.95. <laughs> That's our way of saying I'm in. You text the person that put you on this webinar, if you text them $34.95, they'll then give you a link so you can get your membership and your password and your software tonight. And at that stage in the game, you want to bring people back to our Tuesday conference call. And I'll be doing these webinars every Thursday for the month of May. I'm doing this webinar every single Thursday in May. So we can get everybody ramped up to have a big, big, big summer. All right. Text 3495 to the person that put you on this webinar. Let us know if you want to do it for the strategies or you want to do it to start making money. And we'll give you the game plan accordingly. All right. I'm Brian Bean. I'll see you guys in the magazines. Have a good night.